Base frames are these flat pieces of wood that fit on the front of the cabinets that make your cabinets actually look really nice and complete. We'll see what we can do with this. Let's get started. In order to install the face frame, I'm going to use these biscuits. They're uh, designed to swell up when you get them wet, specifically with glue. It, uh, there's a couple of different ways you could do this. You can cut in an individual slot where each biscuit will go. That's kind of painful, and the odds of getting that to line up every time could be a little bit challenging, especially when you're doing a uh, cabinet as large as the one I'm doing. Another approach is to cut a groove down the uh, center of both your face frame shelving or the, face, the front of the cabinet and then also within the, uh, the face frame itself. Now I'm going to show you how to do that in this section of the video. Um, I'm going to show you how to set up the saw for it right now. Now you want your saw blade to cut right down the middle of the board. So I've got this jig that I set up that's already measured. It's the right size for the middle of the board. Obviously the blade's way too high. You want the the biscuit to be about just a little more than half the height of the saw blade. So bring this down, use this jig to line it up. Bring it up a little more till the, oh, see there, see how that's going up? Okay, if I bring it back down right about there, it's perfect. Now to set the, the width so it goes down the middle, I'll just move the saw, the, move the rip fence over, lock it down. Theoretically, should be good to go. These are the biscuits. Let's stick a few in, just for fun. Okay, now it's time to put it together. So go ahead and put glue in each of the places in the cabinet where you're going to attach the face frames, where you want to put that biscuit. Let's go ahead and put a little glue in there, put the biscuit in place, and then tap it in with a mallet. That's a dead blow mallet. Then put glue across the top of all of your biscuits and then put that face frame on top. It should fit together if you've done it well. Go ahead and tap it down with your uh, dead blow mallet or a rubber mallet would work just fine. You want to be gentle with that. You don't want to dent up your face frame that you spent all this time on.
You know, I really could use some more clamps. I know just what to do. Hello? Jimmy John's? That's what, I, that's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Jimmy. And that's about it for face frames. I'm going to let this dry overnight. I'm going to sand it all down real nice. Fill in the gaps with some putty. Call it good. Now, if you like this video, check out my YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash tooldudetony. I've got other videos on how to make other parts of the cabinets, how to build um, you know, the cabinet doors, all that kind of fun stuff. Check it out. Subscribe to me. Press the like button. Call it good. If you didn't like it, my name is Dave. Take care and have a great day. This is Tool Dude Tony for How to Fix Shit 101. Hi, I'm Tool Dude Tony and I have no idea what I'm going to be saying. So I'm going to make it up as I go. Hello, November. Back out of my video.